Hey there, what's up? So my name is Tersh, uh, this is Josh, and we are doing a demo for Tap Recon. And so we're gonna um, explain some of the features that are in there. And there we have a couple of questions that we get um, asked pretty frequently. So we'll explain those questions as well. If you've watched this and you still have questions about Tap Recon or the features that are involved with it or settings or anything, uh, don't hesitate reach out to us, support at tradeautomationpros.com, and we're more than happy to walk you through um, everything that's going on there. So with that yeah. being said, uh, Josh, yeah, we're ahead. super excited to share this with you. So the, the whole purpose of Tap Recon, because um, you know, back in the day, Facebook groups API, you were able to pull this information in from different local Facebook groups. And I, for one, have always loved local Facebook groups back to my days in the trades. I've always gotten a ton of business from it, but I've literally had to like almost train my algorithm to always show me these things because I always engage with the same style posts. And then of course your algorithm can change based on if you look up different things, watch different videos, and, yep. and it, all of a sudden you don't see those posts anymore. And then you're like, are those posts still happening? And they usually are still happening. Mm -hmm. um, but Tap Recon completely changes the game for all of that because now you don't have to sit on Facebook. You don't have to leave it open all day. Nope. You can literally just get notified when conversations are happening that are specifically focused for the things that you want it to focus on. Like Absolutely. let's say you're an HVAC company and you don't care about duct cleaning. You don't have to get involved in those posts. You can only get involved in ones that talks about air conditioning, heating, boilers, furnaces, mini splits, et cetera. And you can set it however you want. So mm -hmm. we're gonna go over that today and kind of show you that, but we're super excited to be able to offer this to uh, the trades. Absolutely. Okay, so we timed this actually uh, perfect. It's actually running its scan right now. Uh, you can see that and it's coming, coming over here. Um, I'm going to actually stop that scan so that I can move over to a different uh, dashboard page here. Okay, so on the dashboard, I say I'm going to stop it. All right. Uh, I think it right. just runs. I think you're just getting rid of the, I am. the note at the bottom. But what it's doing right now, so every two hours, it runs a scan on all the groups that you decide that you want to be connected to. You can do up to 25 groups. Mm -hmm. So every two hours, it's going to scan those groups and look for posts with your keywords that you decided you wanted to add. Absolutely. And then they're actually going to show up. So your leads are going to show up in this area here. Now, what you'll also see is there is this brand mentions over here. And uh, while you can't click on it, I will show you where where you go to to see your your brand um, mentions, which is underneath leads and outreach over here. You come right up here to mentions, and that's going to show all of your brand mentions um, that are on the internet. So this isn't just inside of groups. This is so these are our brands: Trade Automation Pros, uh, Phone Tap. Then I have my name on here. I have my first and last name, our podcast, the Service Business Mastery Podcast. Um, and then I have Tap Recon and then Service Emperor, which is one of my HVAC companies. And you can click, just click this button right here to manage it. You can also um, put your competitors in there too, if you'd like. And so it tracks them for, for anytime they're mentioned on the internet. So like here you can see that Service Emperor was mentioned on the web and you can click this button right here and it'll literally just show you um, where it was listed at on the internet. Uh, we have a YouTube here, news. So uh, Church Blissett and Joshua Crouch. Um, yeah, that was an article we did for contracting business. Yep, so it's it picked it up there. Now here's a, a, a good example of it um, when it doesn't pertain to you. Uh, on Twitter, someone spelled out the word Church and um, obviously this doesn't have anything to do with me. So you can just literally just ignore it. Um, same with this here post here on phone tab. Um, and then as you move down, um, there's actually another Tersh. So we found another Tersh in the US. Uh, and so there's a lawyer uh, named Tersh and, uh, and the Washington Post, and which is really cool. Um, so that being said, it looks like the um, the scan is finished. So this is what your dashboard looks like here. And uh, this, so I started this one up on the 21st, basically, uh, maybe real late at night on the 20th. And um, so these are all of your, the leads that are coming in. Um, and then, so these are some of the top Facebook groups here. But really, 
this is just your dashboard where you really want to go is here on the leads and outreach tab and in that tab is where you kind of click on facebook groups x linkedin um your reddit so inside of reddit now you can actually go into here and click add subreddits so that it searches specific subreddits um and that would be great for especially local businesses if you yeah. have like a local city or town or county subreddit that would be the type of thing you want to add exactly and for those that are like why are you talking about reddit because you haven't been paying attention reddit has grown tremendously in the last couple of years google's paying them like 60 million dollars for data and the offset of that is that reddit ranks for a lot of stuff yes um so a lot of people use reddit it's kind of like local facebook groups only it's unfiltered and right. people aren't posting them well they're anonymous they're all they're all anonymous essentially because it's all like uh, uh usernames tags and whatnot but yeah it's it's the wild west out there but you something may be put out there about your brand or something that you have no idea exists in your community mm -hmm. and you're getting hammered for something um, so this is a great way to pay attention to that and be able to take care of any issues quickly. And then of course we have next door too, um, which, which were, again, it's a, some, some, some markets next door is great. Some not yep. so great, but next door is just another great way to, um, pay attention to your brand and the different things that your community is talking about. Exactly. So we have the ability to turn on WhatsApp. We have not had any requests for WhatsApp. Um, there's an additional charge for using that app, but um, so most of the times it's just not turned on because it's not a very popular use case in our area. Um, I will say, so uh, let's go over to back over to Reddit and right here at the top, you can see that you have, if you save something, your, all of your saved posts will be right here. If you've commented on it, then they'll be listed right here with someone with intent to buy uh, searching for an open source automation tool. So automation is one of our keywords. So here's all of our the keywords that I have listed out right here. Um, and it's important to know you can put as many keywords as you want. Yeah. So yeah. we're and limited if, by the number of Facebook groups yep. to 25. Um, if if that's something that you want more, we can mm -hmm. we can set that up for you. But it is going to be an additional charge because yeah, our and, the scan so, has to work and, and some of the tools in the background have to work harder to get all that information. And I have had this question a couple times actually, and I didn't realize how many people have like multiple Facebook profiles <laughs> until we launched this. And I was like, um, I have like three Facebook profiles that I can comment on. I'm like, so with that, because of the connection in, in what we have to do with this, that's, it's going to be three licenses. Yeah. Just so you're, just so you're aware. Yeah. Um, in the future, there might be something we can work out with that, but it's gonna be three licenses. So if you have like team members that you want to do this too, so they're like they all get notified and you all comment your company name, so it looks like you're kind of taking over the thread, which I know some people want to do. Um, that that's how that works. So um, just let, just know that if you have any questions on that, reach out. Um, but that's how that works. If you need multi duplicate license or multiple licenses, uh, reach out to us. We might be able to figure out some sort of um, discount. For buying multiple plans together but just let us know um what uh, if you if you have that going on um so this so new leads and then you have seen leads so these are leads that you've probably seen already um uh, and then you have discover leads which is really cool because you can uh click here and these might not these might be groups that you're not a member in and um uh, so like go high level expert um, group uh, is not one. So it, it even checks in some other related groups uh, that you didn't actually pick in there. So it's, it's kind of a little bonus for you there. Uh, then you have the messaged ones. So you can actually see the ones that you've messaged and the ones that you comment on uh, and they're broken out separately. And then you have your saved ones. When you're in here on all of them, you notice right here, right below the comment or the, the post itself, it says view on in, in this particular one's Facebook. You can click right there and it'll actually take you to the Facebook post. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see all the comments underneath of the post that exactly. were made as well, which exactly. is a great way to like really easily engage with something that you really want to engage with. Uh, like yep. for myself, I usually I have like SEO, website design, digital marketing set up for Relentless Digital because I want to know when those com those conversations happen so I can go add some value to that mm -hmm. that that thread. So in here in the comment 
section here, this is where we can use AI. So if you want AI, you can sit, first off, if you, if it's a, if you, if you have one that you want to send out every time, like, or uh, could possibly be a duplicate uh, response, then you can actually save that um, response there and it would be under your saved messages and you click on that and it just pops it right in there real fast. You can also prompt it to create an AI response for you if that's what you want to do. Or if you want to write it out yourself, you just write out a response here and you click add the comment and it sends it over to Facebook. So then you don't have to actually like copy and paste. You don't have to click view on Facebook, go into Facebook, get distracted by Facebook. You can literally do it all from this dashboard, which is really cool. Um, that's a really- the one, the one thing I'll add, um, and this is, this is a tip. So this isn't really about the software. This is more of a tip on how to, how to really leverage this. Most of the time when somebody's looking for a, a home service, there's people that put, they comment with a dot or F or following or things like that. Or even people that like I there, if you don't know, there's a setting that you can turn on notifications for a post. So you don't have to do the dot or the F or the following, but by you going in there, those are great opportunities for you to engage with other people experiencing the same problem and are looking for the same answer. Cause what happens is everyone, everyone rushes to throw their business name down and that's all they do. And it's like, it's just like a There's game no of value. Like, who can get the most, who can get the most likes or upvotes if you're on like Reddit or something. Reddit, yeah. You want to engage, ask a question, give some value, do something. I promise you that strategy will work a hundred times better than just call my company because mm -hmm. otherwise then people are going to come back to the thread and be like, it just looks like a hodgepodge of like stuff. And then mm -hmm. they honestly, they get more confused than anyone. I like I see digital mind. marketing all the time and there's like 50 million marketing companies out there that all put their name down. I'm like, how would I know who to call here? But what happens is when I ask questions and I go, I try to dig a little deeper into their business in a public thread. I actually get them to reply. And, and it's not just them. Different. It's not just the original poster that replies. You can, a lot of times someone else who's watching the thread will reply, or maybe they have interest and you end up picking up a different client. Maybe you don't get the original post client, but you would get, you know, somebody else who was, impressed with the fact that you actually engaged with the con uh, with the question you answered the question there uh, and and just show everybody that's watching that you are the expert um, so in here itself um, uh, it's almost like self tags label. like your email yeah, like tags. Put tags on it or fill or right. labels on your email it's kind of like self labeling if somebody's complaining about something if it's a promotion Type yeah, post. If somebody's promoting something or if somebody's complaining about something um, or information. I like how those, those two are grouped together there. Um, but uh, then like, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the messaged ones, the ones that you've already messaged inside of here, you can click this comment button, but you can also click the message button. So that sends that person a DM from you. Uh, with that being said, it, yes, it is a personal uh, Facebook page. So it's not gonna be your business Facebook page. It's gonna be a personal Facebook page. Uh, this is a Chrome extension. So the computer that houses this, like it can be on multiple computers, uh, but it if the computer's turned off, it does not scan the Facebook groups. So uh, if you want it to scan them all night long, then you'll need to leave that computer turned on all night long. Uh, that's the workaround that we had to, that had to be done in order for uh, us to be able to access Facebook. Um, I will yeah, say- that's because the, the API, Facebook got rid of the API, they the deprecated groups. it. So that like, this is the only, the Chrome extension was the only way to be able to, to do this. Yes. And so um, let me see here, the, uh, there is a right here in we're in the settings tab this drop down right here this is how many posts per group per keyword that it's searching for uh so it's only going to search 18 posts per group so if you have a group that's like super active and within a two hour time frame it might have 30 posts then you want to change it to this but 
notice the disclaimer here. Um, if you went down here and you selected 45 posts every single time, then there's a chance that you'll get flagged by Facebook and or LinkedIn or um, any of them. But this is this is all Facebook. But you, you might get flagged by Facebook and um, end up getting banned. And you don't want to do that. So uh, 18. Yeah, and honestly, if you use the so like Richard showed the, the view on Facebook that link if you actually open up facebook and, and do that a few times facebook's going to learn what you want to see anyway so just in case somehow this misses a post most likely one of the first two or three posts you're going to see is probably going to be something like this if you missed one and you haven't yeah. replied to it yet so it it's, it's also trains the algorithm to what you want to see mm -hmm. yeah and so like any of them you want to go into any of the the programs to to change the settings on it uh next door i don't we don't have an active next door here because we live on 250 acres and we have no neighbors um so there is no next door here um where i live so, um but if you have one with your business where you're like especially your service area um then you would go in here and similar uh concept but yeah uh you can also schedule post if you'd like to you can uh use AI to schedule post, I would say don't set it and forget it because while AI is improving constantly, it's not perfect yet. Uh, so just keep that in the back of your mind there. And well, you can even see, so trade automation pros is all about automation, AI and stuff like that. Like the, the second poster, did you know automation can save you hours weekly? It shows a, a clock like to get, to generate just what we're about, like just giving it that context. And that's one of the first things you have to do when you sign up, you download the Chrome extension and you open the app, you have to give information and context about your business. Yep. That's what helps generate this stuff later on. So don't skip over that because you're so excited to like go connect the group. So you like, don't give it any information, give it either take some information from your website or something you've professionally gotten done. That's really well done and put that in there uh, because I think it, it's going to be more beneficial for you later. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way you can start generating at least some content ideas and stuff like that too. Yeah. Um, news uh, that you just, I would just go right through here um, and, and, you know, look at all those things here, but honestly, that's, that's the high level of the program. Um, obviously if you're watching this and, and we recorded it, this is March of the end of March of 2025. If you're watching this and it's later in the year um, and, things have been updated we'll change we'll, we'll make another video if it's been a crazy a massive update but for the most part if you have any questions don't hesitate reach out to us support at tradeautomationpros.com i'm tersh that's josh and uh we're more than happy to help you out josh is there anything else that that we missed that we need to no super excited to uh, we've already had some really great response with this so i'm super excited to see you guys uh at some point we'll probably create some best practices around using this as well. So we'll yeah. look forward to that. Cool, man. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. We'll see you later.